Well, praise the name of the Lord. Good evening, church. We thank you so much for tuning in tonight for our Wednesday night service, and we hope that you are doing well. I believe God is helping every single one of us. And I'm glad that we can feel the Spirit of the Lord every single day. The Bible says, now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Thank God. God for the liberty that we have in the Lord. We can worship Him freely, that we are free from sin. Thank God that He saved us and redeemed us and cleansed us from all of our sins. And if you're thankful for that, why don't you just go ahead and praise Him right now. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Before we get started into the Word of God tonight, I do have a couple of announcements. Don't forget, Senior Moments is meeting at Smithfield's Chicken and Barbecue on September the 2nd at 11 a.m., and that is the one in Nightdale. And so if you are part of the Senior Moments, please come on out. Have a great time of fellowship, food, and fun and games. And I believe, I believe you're going to be have a great time. Um, also, we are having a men's fellowship outing at the Headingham Golf Club driving range right here near the church on September the 5th at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm asking for all the men, if you want to come on out, please come out and uh, let's enjoy a great time of fellowship and great fun on that day. Also, if you would like to give to our church, we thank you for giving every single week. If you like to give, you can continue to give online at CapitalCityCOG.com or you could text GIVE to 919 949-5333, or you can mail in your contributions to the church at 1500 Headingham Boulevard, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. Thank God for your giving. Thank God for, for, for you, for our church, and we just had Pastor Appreciation Day this past Sunday, and we are thankful for our pastor and his family. Let's go to the Lord in prayer at this time before we get into the preaching of the Word of God. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this day. We thank you, God, for another opportunity to bring forth the Word of God. I pray, Lord, that you would help us today. pray, God, that you would anoint me with a fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost. God, open up our hearts, our minds, and our ears to receive the Word of God. Lord, we are thankful, God, that you are in control, that you are helping us every single day And we do give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Going back to Proverbs chapter 30, we are going to finish up what we've been dealing with, these four little things that the Bible tells us about that give so much wisdom. And we've we've talked for the past several weeks about these little things. And so tonight we're going to finish it up. We're going to talk about the spider So Proverbs chapter 30, verse 24 again, the Bible says, There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The conies are but a feeble folk, yet make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet go they forth all of them by bands. And the spider taketh hold with her hands, and is in the king's palaces. Verse 28 again says, the spider taketh hold with her hands and is in the king's palaces. I want to talk to you tonight for a little while from the subject, when the spider takes hold. When the spider takes hold. So for the past several weeks, we've learned how these little things can teach us about wisdom, great wisdom that we can take and we can apply to our spiritual life. And it is so needful, especially in the world that we live in today, that we never ever disregard the little things that God intended to teach us about such great wisdom. We learn how the ant taught us how to prepare for the winter months. Prepare now for what's up ahead. We learn about the survival of the conies. 
that they learned, they knew how to survive. They, they were able, they, they know how to assemble themselves. They know how to, to lift their voices. They know how to position themselves in a position of strength. So they taught us how to survive. And the locusts taught us how to go forward just to progress. But they, they go forth by bands. They devour what's in front of them. They will travel. They teach us about, they taught us about how to go forward. And so tonight I want to talk to us about the spider. The spider, the Bible says, taketh hold with her hands and is in the king's palaces. The spider teaches us about productivity. They teach us about how to stay productive. And so that's what I want to deal with tonight, is that we need to learn from the spider on how we can be productive. I am so thankful tonight that God has given us the ability Ability. He's equipped us with what we need so we can be productive in these last days. Hallelujah. I'm telling you tonight that it is time, like Paul said, it is high time to awake out of sleep. Our salvation is drawing near. The Lord is coming back very, very soon. And now is the time that we wake out of our sleep and we realize that we must get to work. We must stay productive. We can't be complacent. We can't be asleep. We can't not just, I mean, we cannot take a seat on the back row and let everybody else do what they want to do. We need to be active. Praise God. We need to be productive. We need to not only move forward, but we need to be working as we're moving forward. Since this pandemic, I believe a lot of Christians have allowed themselves to become complacent. They've allowed their progress to come to a halt. And they once worked, but now they're not working now. You know why? Because they can't work in the same way that they were working in. So they decided to give up. But I'm telling you, we have to make an adjustment. If we're going to be productive, yes, we may not be able to do exactly what we used to do. But we must make an adjustment because there is still work that needs to be done. I said there's still work that needs to be done. And we must stay productive. We got to make an adjustment so we can keep on working because we need to help build up the kingdom of heaven. There is a harvest. There are lost souls. There is people that need to hear the word of God. And we need to be productive today. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm telling you, it is still our job. To be productive. The spider, even though it's small, knows how to stay productive. So that brings me to the first point. Here's what the spider will do. Unlike other animals or insects that have to use their surroundings to build a house, a house, a house. The spider produces her home from what's inside of her. Glory to God. The spider constantly has a demonstration of what is on the inside. Has a demonstration on the outside of what is on the inside. Hallelujah. The spider will constantly show, will constantly produce something from within and let it be shown on the outward. Glory to God. So I want to tell you tonight in our first point of this message if you're going to be productive then it must come from what's within something our actions our attitude our words are always going to reflect what's inside of you and I and so that's why it's important that we say Lord I want to have a pure heart I want to have a good spirit I want to have a pure mind I want to be diligent I want to keep my heart with all diligent for out of it are the issues of life glory to God glory to God 
demonstrate and always on demonstrate on the outward what is on the inward, what's inside of you. You know, a lot of people they 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 complain all the time because they're 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 out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. So they lash out or they complain or they will be negative every single day. You know why? Because that's resulting from a heart <laughs> that is troubled, <laughs> that is burdened, glory to God. Hallelujah. They don't, they're, not, they're not happy inside, glory to God. If you're going to be productive for the kingdom of heaven, then we must make sure that our heart has been touched by the hand of God, that we have the Spirit moving in our life, that we need to produce on the outward what's on the inside. We have faith. We have love. We have joy. Get it in the inside and let it come out on the outside. Glory to God. Paul said in 2 Timothy 1.6, he said that we need to stir up the gift of God, which is within us, which is in thee. Stir up the gift of God, which is in thee. It's there. What is that gift? It's the gift of divine grace. The Lord, when he saved you, he put a gift inside of you. And also in Thayer's Greek tells us that it could be a gift of faith, a gift of understanding, a gift of wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. And that word stir up means to reach kindle so you need to sometimes we let the gifts become dormant in our lives and now it's up to us to stir them up you need to stir them up you need to rekindle it because the Lord wants to use you he wants to use you he wants to use that faith that you let be dormant he wants to use that love he wants to use that wisdom he wants to use you because you you're saved and you're on your way to heaven. He wants to use you to reach this lost and dying world. Woo. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, God. Help us to let there be an. Paul said, I didn't come with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit power so when Paul preached he was effective because there was a gift that was stirred up on the inside glory to God what have you let become what have you allowed to become dormant what kind of gift ones that you've used before but you're not using them much anymore I'm telling you, they're still there. I said they're still there. But it's up to you tonight to take the message of the spider and say, now it is high time. I need to stir up the gift that's inside. Cold on my head. I feel the Lord right here. I'm telling you, now it is time for you to stir up that gift and say it's time to get to work because it's still there. Somebody needs to tell that devil it's still there that gift is still there and I'm ready to rekindle it I'm ready to stir it up I feel the preacher now I'm telling you it's time we stir up the gift of God and let's make a difference in these last days glory to God secondly there is a determination you ever notice when you knock down a spider? I can't stand spider webs. I can't stand spiders. When it, have you ever noticed that because you can't stand a spider web or spider, you go to knock it down? And that spider, somehow when it hits the floor, does not die. Even though it's small, it does not die, it does not perish when it has that impact. That's because when the spider is not down, the spider does not stop producing. 
It will continue. While that spider is falling, that spider will produce some more webbing. Hallelujah. It will let it out to break its fall. Glory to God. I said it will let it out to break its fall. I want to tell you tonight that when you are trying to be productive, the enemy does not like that. He takes notice and he will do everything that he do, that he wants to do in his power to try to discourage you, to try to hinder you from staying productive. But I'm telling you tonight, church, that when we are not down. We may take a beating. We may be pushed down a little bit. We may be knocked down. But don't stop working. The spider tells us don't stop working. Keep producing. Stay productive. Praise God in a hell. Hallelujah in a hell. I'm going to love God in a hell. Keep on working. Woo. The Bible says that Seven times. A just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. Hallelujah. He may fall seven times, but he gets right back up. Have you been knocked down lately? Have you been bruised lately? Have you taken a beating lately? Are you heartbroken? Are you disturbed? Come on. Hallelujah. You're not in the, on the mountaintop like you used to be. But I'm telling you, we've got to keep on producing. We need to keep on working. Yes, you may have taken a beating, but you need to still say, praise God in the house. I'm going to get back up. You may have knocked me down, but I'm going to get back up. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to turn around, but I'm going to remain focused. I'm going to go forward, and I'm going to stay the Determined in spite of what's happening to me. Hallelujah. I wish somebody right now would just lift your hands where you're at and give him praise and let that devil know I'm still leaning. I have not quit. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And my last point of the spider is this. So the spider is determined. There's always a demonstration. Now the spider has a discernment. The spider has eight eyes. But yet with those eight eyes, the spider has poor vision. In spite of the poor vision, that spider knows when something is caught in its web. The reason why it knows is because it's the spider senses the movement of that object, that thing. It, 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 the spider senses it by using these hair follicles on the body to sense those movements. And so even though they can't see, they know when something is near. They know when something is caught. Glory to God. I'm telling you, we, if we ever needed a spirit of discernment, it is right now. Because church, the world is calls, calling good evil and evil good. When they want to legalize pedophilia, when they want to legalize somebody having an improper relationship with a child, we know that something is wrong. But yet they want to call evil good and good evil. When they want to clamp down on the churches, we know that something is wrong. When they want to silence our voices, we know that there's something wrong. And we need that spirit of discernment when they want to kill our babies, when they want to harm our children, when they want to incite violence and anger. Oh, we need discernment because we can never, ever get caught up in what the world thinks is good and what the world thinks is evil. Because now they have it twisted. They have it twisted. But we need to sense what is right and what is wrong. And I believe God has given us a spirit of discernment.
God has given, hallelujah. We as Christians can sense in the spirit what men don't see in the natural. I said we as Christians can sense in the spiritual what men and women don't see in the natural. Hallelujah. That's why I like that old song who it says, I have a feeling that everything's going to be all right. Glory to God. When we read the word of God, when we absorb it, when we get into his presence, we can feel the spirit of God and we can know, even though when we see through the natural eye that there may not be a good outcome, we can feel in the spirit that it's going to be all right, that something good is about to happen. I have a feeling that everything's going to be all right. Woo! Hallelujah! That's why it's so important that we don't walk by sight. But as the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. <laughs> we shall walk by faith and not by sight. Glory to God. We need to live by faith. Trusting in the Almighty. Always sense Him what we need. Glory to God. How many of you have sensed it lately? I believe the Lord is coming back soon. So now it is high time to awake out of sleep and get to work. So that is the message of the spider. Spider the locusts, the conies, and the ant all have great wisdom for us to hold on to. Absorb this. Absorb what these little things teach us. What they have taught us. Absorb it. Don't let it fall on deaf ears. Oh, God help us. Let's pray. My Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for your anointing. I thank you for your help today. I thank you for your touch. God, you are a mighty God. Thank God for these little things that teaches us such great wisdom. I pray, God, that you would help us, God. Oh, I pray, God, that you would move in our lives, continue to help our church. That, oh, God, you are a great God. And I thank you, Lord, that we can prepare, that we can survive. <coughs> That we can go forward and that we can stay productive in these last days. Like the spider taketh hold with her hands. God help us to take hold as well. God help our church to continue to go forward. Stay productive. We are thankful for your help and your touch every day. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Hope that this has been a blessing to you. Hope that you have a great rest of your week. And Lord willing, we'll see you this coming Sunday.